All right, so that was like a very, very uh, simple algorithm. Let's uh, go through like the actual algorithm, the Harris uh, corner, uh, corner detection algorithm. And before that, let, let's do a quick revisit of correlation. And just to uh, refresh that, and you know this equation. To compute correlation, you have a function, you have a kernel, and you perform element-wise multiplication of these two. Okay, and that's going to give you just one number. And if the input passion matches, matches with the kernel, you will get a very high value. If it doesn't match, you will get a very low value. Okay. So now what we do is we try to find these corners or you can say like interest points in your image using autocorrelation. So now let's try to understand what autocorrelation is. So you have seen correlation where you have like a input patch from your, from your image and then you have a kernel. So you're trying to find correlation between those two different, uh, you can say like kernels or, or filters, right? Autocorrelation is you have your image and you extract the kernel from the image itself and then find correlation. So you are actually finding correlation with an image. You don't need external filter. Okay. So then what will happen is if you are like at a given location in your image and you fix, if you extract like that patch. So if you apply the, uh, if you apply that kernel at the, at the same location, it will perfectly match because you extracted it from that location, right? But if you move around that kernel in the vicinity, so that's the key. So you know, not just like apply on the same uh, location, you apply in the neighborhood. And that's how you compute this autocorrelation. Okay, so what you do is you extract this window from a, any location X, Y, and you shift that by these values, U and V, which defines the neighborhood, like how far you want to go in the neighborhood. And then, you just find the difference between these, okay? So I, X, Y is the exact location where you're interested in. And this I, X plus U, Y plus V, v it represents like the neighborhood. So what you're doing is you're just finding the difference, whether the pixel intensity is actually changing in the neighborhood or not, okay? And then you just square that value. And this is just a weighting function, uh, which can be like, you can just ignore it, you can actually use a Gaussian weight here. And again, it's, it has the same idea. Like if you want to pay more attention to the center location and less attention to the, uh, the other locations which are far from the center. So this is like just to weight that. And you can even ignore this, so don't worry about it. Just focus on this. Okay, so now if you think about this, if at a given location in your image, if it's a flat surface and the intensity is actually not changing, what will happen? It doesn't matter like where you go in the neighborhood, the pixel intensity is not going to change. So if you compute the subtraction, it will always give you zero. Okay, which means if you are at a flat surface in your input image and you compute this autocorrelation using this equation, you are going to get zero. Okay, which means the point is not interesting. Now, what will happen if the intensity is actually changing a lot in that neighborhood? then this value is going to get bigger. Okay, so which means that your autocorrelation value will be higher and which will help you in determining like those interest, interesting points. Okay, so that's like a high level uh, intuition. And I think now I'm going to show you like some detailed maths and uh, you don't have to worry about it. It's, it's doing exactly the same thing, the intuition which I explained to you, but like in a more formal way. And it's, it's trying to actually optimize this process. Okay, so this is intensity, as, as I told you, like uh, the current location where you're interested in. This is shifted in intensity, like in the neighborhood. You are taking steps U and V. And this is just a window function. Okay. And again, this window function could be like, as I said, just like a step function zero one, where you are paying equal attention to all the neighborhood values. It could be a Gaussian, it could be any other, any other function. So this is not, not really important here. All right, so what will happen if you look at this image patch, again, these are pixel values. So for each location, you will compute this autocorrelation. So if this is the neighborhood, this uh, red bonding box, and then this is the center pixel location where we are interested in. What we will do is we'll compute like the intensity difference with all the other pixel values inside this region. 
using this formula and that that's going to give you this value. Okay, so this is like a, you can say a response function using this autocorrelation of this input image. Okay. Now we can use, use that kind of autocorrelation to actually find corner detection. So let's focus on this uh, real world image and we'll look into three different uh, cases. So we have three different points. One point is uh, at this location, uh, which is kind of like the, the edge of the roof. Okay. The second is over the clouds. And the third is, I think over somewhere in the, on the ground, over these leaves. I, I'm, I'm not able to actually locate that. Yeah, over here, right over here. Okay. And then, we compute like this autocorrelation, the equation I showed you earlier, and these are the responses for these three different locations. Okay, so what's happening here? And again, these plots are just like surface plots for the same response. Okay, it's just like instead of 2D plot, you're creating a 3D plot of that. So this kind of response you will uh, you will get from maybe the uh, maybe the clouds, right? Because it's perfectly smooth and it's not changing a lot. And this kind of response you will get from the edge, which is uh, on top of the roof. Okay, and this kind of response you will get like something from from the ground. And you can see that like you have like this kind of peak over here. And this peak is something which we are interested in. So this peak will define like whether you have interest point or not. So in a way you can see that we have interest point here because this is kind of a ridge, a peak here, right? And this is interest point, but this is not so interesting. The values are not changing a lot. Okay, so that's how you can use this autocorrelation to find uh, corners in your input image. Okay. 